Yo, how's it going everybody and welcome back to this material UI course. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to work with the alert component in this library. This is what we're going to be building right here. It's a simple alert with a gradient background, a custom icon, and some basic font. And we'll be running through the documentation and by the end of it, you'll have built this little example right here. And without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I've opened up the documentation for this component and what material UI talks about alerts is it just says that you can display a short message that attracts the user's attention without interrupting their task. Alrighty, so if we scroll lower, we'll see some basic alerts in action. Uh, we have the error alert, that's red, a warning alert, orange, or yellow. Uh, we have the primary alert, which is blue. We have a success alert, which is green. And by default, if you don't specify a specific type of alert, it will always be a success alert. Now, the way that you actually do specify an alert is you would have to use the alert tag right here. Within it, you give it a prop of severity, um, and you can give it either warning, error, error warning, in for success, and by default, if you don't give it any severity, it'll always be success. So let's say you wanted to display a title and a description for your alerts. It's really simple. All you would have to do is use the alert title prop and then just type whatever you want inside of it. So in this case, they're using alert title, giving an error, which is this right here, this title, and then whatever else outside of that alert title right here is going to be your description. And after that, you can have some actions to your alerts if you wanted. So if you wanted an X or an undo button. Now, if you only wanted to provide an X, all you would have to do is you would have to use the on close prop right here and you have to give it a callback. And then inside of there, you can do whatever you want. But if you don't do anything within the callback, it'll still render the X like so. But if you wanted to provide a custom button, let's say instead of an undo button, you wanted to uh, use a specific image, for example, what you can do is you can give it an alert action prop right here. And then inside of there, you can provide whatever component you want. So if you want an image, we can use the image component that Material UI provides. Give it the image, and then we can give it an on-click property, which will do the exact same thing as a regular on-close prop does. And after that, we have the collapse transition component right here. Now, what this allows us to do is we can collapse our alert and reopen it if you wanted. Um, and it's really simple to use. All you would have to do is use the collapse um, component that Material UI provides. And whatever you put inside this collapse component will collapse it. So in this case, all they have is an alert. When you click on this button, it'll collapse it. It'll collapse the alert. Alrighty, so after that, we have the icons prop. Now, this is something that's fairly easy to understand. By default, every single alert icon will be a check mark. It's not going to be this exact one, but it'll be fairly simple to this, fairly close to this. Um, if you wanted to provide a custom icon, all you would have to use is the icon prop right here. Instead of the curly braces, you define what kind of icon you want. Uh, but let's say you didn't want an icon, all you would have to do is just give it false. So you do have some variants available to you, uh, like most components. In this component, you have two different variants. You have an outline and a filled. This is what the outline one looks like. And the way that you would use it, oops. And the way you would use it, all you have to do is define the variant prop, give it the outline property, and that's it. If you wanted to use the filled one, it's the exact same thing. All you would have to do is variant filled. And after that, we have the toast. They don't have a toast example right here, but you can use Material UI's toast components to display alerts. Uh, we're not going to talk about that in this tutorial. And after that, we have the color prop. Um, so let's say we didn't want our error warning, uh, success, or info. We wanted to use a custom color that Material UI provides. We can use the color prop. And in this case, you're using info, so that's why it's blue. And they are using the severity success. So that's why you see this uh, success icon right there. And now if we scroll lower, we'll see the two APIs that we have. We have alert and alert title. Inside of alert, it shows us how to import it, uh, what kind of props is available to us, and all the CSS that's involved as well. Now let's go ahead and actually work with this component and get our hands dirty. Alrighty, so I've opened up the app that we've been building in the last couple of videos, and I'll be working in the home.js file in this tutorial. And the first thing that we have to do is we need to use a custom styling method that Material UI provides. So we have to install that package. So I'll do npm i at mui slash styles and let that work its magic. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to go ahead and run the app. And while that's happening, what I'm going to do is right, whoops, right at the very top right here, we're going to go ahead and import make styles from at MUI slash styles and we'll do import alert 
from at MUI slash material. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this home example content inside as a div and I'll import a simple alert tag. So I'll do the alert tag right here and instead of there I'll give it a description, we we'll call it success tag and for that we'll give it a severity and we'll make it equal to success like so. And so looking at it, here's our simple alert. It spans the entire actual browser but it's a simple success tag now let's make a make some css changes and we'll change up this icon as well so to do the css changes i'm going to give this alert a class name so i'll do class name in curly braces i'll do classes dot and i'll call this success alert and better name is custom alert like that there we go and so it's saying classes not defined so to define that all we have to do is const classes is equal to use styles curly braces call the function and we now have to define use styles and to do that all you have to do is const use styles is equal to make styles and inside of here we'll just do custom alert and now within here is where we can provide all of our custom CSS for our alert so let's go ahead and work on that gradient that we saw in the very part beginning of this tutorial. So what I'll do is I'll give it a background. And for this background, I'll do quotes. And inside of there, I'll do linear gradient. And we'll do two left bottom. So I'll go left to bottom. And we'll give it a gradient of hashtag F12711. And we'll do hashtag f5 a f19 and all this does is it gives you like a um, yellow to red gradient and so now if we save this we go back into our app we'll see we have a pretty cool gradient we have i think it's orange to yellow red to yellow now if we wanted to provide a custom icon that is pretty simple all you have to do is give it a prop of icon curly braces and inside of here is where we can define our icon so let's do something like uh, ice cream. Let's see, is there anything ice cream? We have ice cream two-tone icon, perfect. And just so we can actually visibly see it, we will do and dot MUI alert dash icon, which targets the CSS property for the icons inside this alert. And for this, we'll just do color is equal to white, simple white. And so now if we look at it, we'll see that we have a color, a white color ice cream. I'm just going to quickly add a little bit more changes. Uh, I'll just do margin auto and we'll just give it a width of like 500%, 500 pixels, just so it's not stretched all the way out. Perfect. Alrighty, so that concludes this tutorial. It was fairly straight to the point. Um, alerts are a pretty easy component to get a hang of once you know what's happening with it. If you found this video pretty helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.